Bibliophiles of the internet. My name is Adriana and February is, how do I say this, over. So that means it must be the perfect time to bring you my January book haul. But anyways, you want to hear about the books, I'm here to talk about the books, so look at that, it all works out. The first three things I have to show you are manga volumes and they are volumes 2, 31, and 32 of Hunter x Hunter by Yoshihiro Tagashi. This seems like a strange assortment of volumes I know. I read volumes 1 and 2 of this series in December. I wanted to read volume 2 in physical form so I ordered it but it didn't get to me until January so I just ended up reading it online and then I checked out volumes 3 through 30 from my library which was fantastic and so convenient. Thank God for libraries, am I right? And the only two physical volumes they didn't have were 31 and 32, so I bought those for myself. As many of you know, I have now read all 33 currently published volumes in this series. I read most of them in January and I have a lot of feelings, but mostly I'm full of regret. Then I got three books from Book Outlet. The first one is The Shining Girls by Lauren Bukes. I'm very interested in Lauren Bukes novels because I think she's like created her own genre which is like a mixture of mystery thriller novels with magical realism which is awesome. This story is about a time-traveling serial killer. He finds a mystical house that allows him to transport himself to different points in time. He follows his victims, he kills them, then he disappears back into a different time. So he's like the ultimate untraceable killer. If that doesn't sound interesting to you, I don't know who you are. Then I got Broken Monsters, also by Lauren Bukes. This story starts, I believe, with the discovery of a very strange corpse, which is a boy's body fused with a deer's body, and more of these unusual corpses keep cropping up around town. Plus, I just realized that the main character who is a detective is named Gabriela Versado, so if this story follows a female Hispanic detective, I will be so happy. I'm so there. And the last book I got from Book Outlet was Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Bach. Then I bought Goodbye Stranger by Rebecca Stead. I talked about this book at length in my January wrap-up, so I will link that down below in case you want to know more about what it's about and how I felt about it. Spoiler alert, I loved it. I loved it so much, in fact, that I remembered I want to read everything by Rebecca Stead, so I bought another one of her books immediately afterwards, and that is Liar and Spy. This is also a middle grade book. It follows George and his family on the very first day they move into a new apartment in Brooklyn, and on that day he sees a sign that says Spy Club Meeting Today, and that's how he meets his next door neighbor named Safer, and the two become very good friends. Rebecca Stead excels at writing incredible friendships, so I can't wait to read this one. The next few things I'm going to show you are courtesy of one of my best friends, Steven. I've mentioned him several times before, so shout out Steven, and thank you for always buying me pizza. True friendship right there. So these are like a few belated Christmas gifts. The first two things are both of the high-speed light novels. In case you don't know, these are the two books that inspired the free anime series, which is arguably my entire life. I can't actually read these because they're written in Japanese, but just as a mega fan of the show, it truly is a joy and a thrill to own these. Plus, they have full-page illustrations, which is very exciting. And he also gave me all three volumes of Young Avengers, which I'm very excited to read because I know there are gay superheroes in here somewhere, and that's always my jam. So thank you again, Steven, for these awesome gifts. Then I had a leftover gift card and I used it on two middle grade books. The first is Liesl and Poe by Lauren Oliver. All I really know is that the main character Liesl meets a shade or a ghost named Poe who was from the other side and the two either become very good friends or are thrown together on a crazy adventure or both and I know this story also tackles topics of loneliness and grief so I'm very much interested. And the other one I got was The Secret Hum of a Daisy by Tracy Holkser. From what I understand, this story follows a main character named Grace whose mother has recently passed away and now she's living with a grandmother who she's never known before this point. Somehow she has embarked on a magical treasure hunt and Grace is convinced that this is her mother's way of guiding her home from beyond. This book has been on my radar for a very long time, so I'm happy to own it. Then I pre-ordered the first omnibus collection of Orange by Takano Ishigo. I actually just did an entire video where I talk about this series, so I will link that down below in case you want to know more. And the last book I got in January was Wake of Vultures by Lila Bowen. Listen closely, this story is a queer paranormal western. How awesome is that? 
And no surprise here, this book was recommended to me by Ivan from Sona Azra, who is my entire life. I think the main character, Nettie, is also biracial because they are half black, half indigenous, and from what I read in an author's interview, I'm pretty sure Nettie is also either bi-gender or non-binary gender fluid, which is very exciting. The story follows Nettie, who has always felt like an outsider. They were raised by people who treated them very poorly and essentially treated them like a slave. One day, Nettie is attacked by a complete stranger, and when they come to, they realize that they have some new abilities. By the way, I'm only using they pronouns because I don't know Nettie's preferred pronoun, so I'm trying to be safe and respectful. But the point is, this story sounds great and I can't wait to read it. So those were all the books I accumulated in January. In the comments down below, please let me know if you have read any of these books, if you've heard of them before, if you're adding them to your TBR, because I would love to talk about them more. But that is everything I had for this book haul today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye!